Hi and welcome to the Bumps Baby Chapter channel. My name is Beth. I am a midwife, a mother of four and a founder of the Bumps Baby Chapter. So this pregnancy week by week series is designed to help you feel more prepared uh, in your pregnancy, uh, give, you, give you some tips and information about things that are going on for both your baby and for you. So this week we're going to be looking at week 38. Go grab yourself a cuppa and let's get stuck in. So your baby at 38 weeks is about the size of a rhubarb and weighs around the seven pound mark. So your baby is actually fully ready to be born. Your 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 full term, and uh, but actually your baby does is still doing some last minute uh, preparations uh, to be born. Um, so firstly, one of the things that your baby is doing is uh, starting to absorb that vernix or shed that vernix, uh, which is that cheesy waxy coating that has been protecting baby uh, from its surrounding water. Water. So that is starting to be absorbed into baby's skin. Your baby is also still building its surfactant. So surfactant is something that keeps their lungs open. If there was ever thoughts that you were going into labor early, uh, you may have been given steroids and this is something that helps build their surfactant earlier. Um, but usually around 38 weeks, uh, your baby is still continuing to build that surfactant to help keep your baby's lungs nice and open, stop them sticking together uh, when your baby takes that first gasp. So this week you will have a appointment to see your midwife. So your midwife will continue to do those regular things, checking your blood pressure, checking your urine, speaking to you about movement. So remember your baby's movements should still be nice and regular and frequent, uh, even up and over well past your due date. If you are having a consultant led care, then your consultant may have requested or between you and your consultant, it may have been decided that you uh, will be having stretch and sweeps early if that's something that you wanted. So at this uh, appointment, your midwife may discuss with you uh, to have this stretch and sweep if you want it. Hopefully you've got your hospital bag packed, your TENS machine ready, your birth pool ready in the house if you're having a home birth and everything should now be all set to go. So now it's just a little bit of a waiting game to see when baby is going to make an appearance. One question that we get asked a lot as midwives is the question whether to wax or not to wax. So this is a very personal um, choice. Uh, and preference and some women like to uh, wax their bikini area before they come in it makes them feel a little bit more like themselves I know lots of women who uh, wax usually want to keep going with that all the way through their pregnancy but I do want to give you some things uh, to consider so firstly as midwives we really don't care at all secondly Think about how much extra blood flow you have uh, going to that area when, as you get closer to your due date. So having a wax close to your due date can be very painful and very sensitive. It's also worth considering as well regrowth. So regrowth can be really uncomfortable. And if that regrowth is happening after you've had your baby, maybe you've got stitches going on as well. Uh, it can just be all uh, a little bit or very un uncomfortable. So those are things to consider uh, when thinking uh, whether to get a wax or not. But it is ultimately uh, your decision and as midwives we literally don't care. If you haven't already, this week would be a good time to have an open conversation with your partner about the expectations of each other for when baby arrives. So for example, um, if you have been up with the baby all night, um, is your partner going to help with night feeds? Is your partner going to help uh, in the morning so that you can have an extra bit of time 
in bed. Um, these are the type of discussions that you want to be having just to make sure uh, that you are both on the same page about uh, what your new responsibilities will be. Obviously, when baby comes, your role, more so if you're breastfeeding, uh, will be to spend a lot more time with your baby, feeding your baby and caring for your baby. So it may be that your partner or other family members uh, will be required to do the responsibilities, maybe school run, um, things that you previously did. So always make sure that you've got that uh, in place before baby arrives. Speak to your partner, speak to other family members as well and just make sure that you are all on the same page uh, just really for your own reassurance. I would really recommend if you haven't done already just writing a few notes of your postnatal uh, plan um, and that's sharing responsibilities um, thinking about the the food that you have in the freezer um, just to make sure that you are feeling really really prepared for that time when you bring baby home so let's head over to our pregnancy reporters and see what they are up to this week 38 weeks pregnant this week. I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant. I am 38 weeks pregnant this week. So I'm now 38 weeks. Today I'm 38 weeks pregnant. 38 weeks today. I'm currently 38 um, and one day. The emotions I'm feeling are anxious, but also excited on the other hand, as I'm a first time mum. Excited, I'd say tired, but I've actually got um, a mad rush of energy all of a sudden. Feeling like my belly's just got even bigger. Excited, um, a little bit impatient and ready to meet our little man now. Enjoying getting a little bit of rest. The final prep for our little boy to arrive. I am enjoying just preparing and organising, so washing all some of his clothes. I've repacked my hospital bag again. I'm absolutely hating not getting enough sleep. What I'm hating are the swollen feet. Probably the heartburn. Obviously the, the turning over in bed is still hard work. I've had a really itchy belly and itchy nipples. I do get quite a few Braxton Hicks, um, which are just uncomfortable. I've been quite spotty. Not so much on my face, but literally everywhere, like spots on my back, on my belly, uh, my chest, a few on my face. Definitely more tired. Um, definitely more achy uh, and getting tons more Braxton Hicks. That's probably been my biggest uh, symptom of the week. Getting very uncomfortable at night time. I've had real bad hip pain. I've had it for a few weeks now where I'm waking up really stiff in the morning, um, tossing and turning, not sleeping as usual. And I'm still getting uh, acid. Needing to pee constantly. <laughs> and just generally feeling uncomfortable, really. So that was 38 weeks pregnant. So not long to go. Your baby could be making an appearance any day now. I might see you next week, uh, depending on whether baby is here or not, um, for week number 39 of your pregnancy. So remember to like this video if you have found it helpful. Give us a comment to let us know how you are feeling uh, being so close to meeting your baby and subscribe to the channel head over to the instagram at the bump to baby chapter and yeah i look forward to seeing you all next week okay bye